to Pan's channel. Um, <laughs> I graduated! Wow! Got a degree now in illustration, so check me out. A lot of stress, so much stress. Uh, but yeah, somehow we made it. It's the best time of my life, probably that I will ever have. I'm expecting it to go all downhill from here and that's completely fine. Nothing can beat the last three years that I just had, so... <laughs> Ready to crash. <sighs> Since I'm finished with art school now and uh, everything like that, I wanted to like look back at some of my old work from GCSE and a -levels. Some of it I really like and I look back at it and I think how did I do that? I don't even draw like that anymore. Like, how did I, how did I paint this? And some of it, I look back and I'm like, that's disgusting. I hate that so much. <laughs> I come from quite a fine art background, even though I chose to study illustration in uh, university. My background is more fine art based and you can definitely tell that from looking at the kind of work that I used to do. And I like completely changed the way that I work to do my illustration course actually so looking back it's like another person did all these pieces i'm sure many uh uk kids can relate to the gcse art scene uh it was great <laughs> had a lot of options i i really loved sculpture in gcse and i do a lot of sculpture and i really liked uh fine art painting and drawing and did a little bit of d &T even, so yeah. Multifaceted, so talented. Let's go, let's, let's be nostalgic. Let's delve into the past, look at all these weird, weird pieces. It's gonna be a little bit cringy probably, so hashtag cringe, whatever. The sun is going down, I should really hurry up. Anyways, so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm try I'll try to, you know, I'll try to keep it, keep it short. Hi. Okay, let's go. It's me. <laughs> There's nothing else to say, really. Um, you know how in like GCSE art, there was just, you know, the most basic thing they could make you do is draw self-portrait. Simple, delicate, delicate sh shadow and everything. And yeah, I had such an emo fringe when I was younger. It's not so bad here, but it's worse, it's worse in, in the in the paintings to come, so. This uh, monstrosity was year eight, so I was like, uh, how old was I in year eight? Uh, 13, 14? <laughs> As you can see, someone's a bit of a nerd. I'm a Johnny's fan, that's a common theme. I love Johnny's, I'm a Johnny Walter, sue me. So in like a lot of my, uh, personal interest related work there would be a lot of arashi stuff because i love arashi ryo bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh, because he was my childhood crush cat ears okay sure i love lemon demon they were my fave when i was younger as i was listening to things like vocaloid and arashi i also really liked uh, lemon demon and i still listen to them and neil sisariga today so yeah just one of those where they make you where they make you do every strip in like a different medium i don't know just to try out like different stuff i don't know when i did this but it was probably like year 10 or year 9 i don't know but i like it it's kind of cool it's like it's like a it's a still life but from different shots like it's like a chopped up still life it's kind of hard to tell but i just like the colors i think the colors are, are, are nice this is the most cursed artifact. What is it? I don't know. Are they, uh, is any of this cursed? This is a beautiful self-portrait. Which I hate. <laughs> Do you think this even looks like a person? No, it doesn't, does it? It's weird. <laughs> this is like, I think this is year 10. I think this was like one of the final pieces that we did in, in year 10. But I, I'm guessing this is supposed to be my old cat. I guess. We have Maji Rabu from Utapuri, great. We have Nyapi-chan from uh, Uncafe 
the mascot and uh, this is the, 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 I don't know if you can see it, but this is the uh, Phantom Hive crest from Black Butler, sorry. This thing is like uh, the Purikura booths in Chinatown, this was their like logo. At this point I think Bakchiku and Arashi were my favourite, my favourite band so those two, polar opposites basically, but those two. I'm wearing my Rio Bakora cosplay here in this little bit. This is my awful emo fringe that I did actually have when I was this young. It looks terrible, don't look at it. <laughs> I really like the background, I really like these stripes. They're very cute, right? They're like really nice. I love the, the gradient of them, they're very cute. And uh, I don't know if you guys had this in your high school but in mine they we had an exhibition at the end of every year so at the end of every year you'd have like a little art exhibition i think maybe it was just year 10 and year 11 but we had a little exhibition and they would like show you'd have a little board where you get to show off your art and it was very cute and yeah this was on the wall with everything wow there's so much going on i cannot <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I think I did this in year 10, so I would have been like 15, I guess, I don't know. And uh, I copied it from a picture of, um, of Shibuya crossing, I think, and then like a little picture of like Harajuku here. Everything that I liked, basically, I would just put on there. So you can see a little Chokojun and Arashi here, there's a lot of like Arashi references, there's a little... Ninomiya here is with his like pokey effort and there's Jumpu and Life is Hard Dakara Happy and like a Johnny's World poster I don't even know what the brief was for this piece I think we just had to draw like a scene, like a street scene and I was like oh why not just do Japan if I can do Japan I will do it so I did it this looks like Ryutaro or something and he's like visual okay uh, Dekora cosplay and it's like, I don't know what kind of shop that is. This is the, the clay album that I own. <laughs> I guess I just copied the front of the album. And this is like the at home cafe and I think there is actually one. I think it's in Akihabara and I think I just copied that picture onto here. So this is the actual like uh, advertisement that says Okai Nasai and it's like this like uh, baby that does shine bright logo. It's, I don't know, attempt at a Lolita dress I suppose. There's perfume and Ankafe and there's a uh, Baktik's new album which is Aru wa Anaki. So that came out in 2014. So this was in this was in 2014. It's really hard to show like well enough because of the, uh, the angle of this camera trying to fit on my tiny desk. But yeah, anyways, there she is. I remember how much effort it was for me to research this and choose every single picture that I was gonna do and reproduce every single picture. Wow, it was so much effort. And this was for GCSEs, people. Where's that effort gone now? <laughs> I don't know. This is one of my favorite paintings that I ever did in high school. And it's actually probably one of my favorite paintings that I ever did, because, yeah, I just really think it's cute. Um, so yeah, I did this in year 11. It was like my final ever piece and um, because I was you know special I got to paint on a canvas so yeah I think if you if you want to do you could paint on a canvas if you if you were like you know into it <laughs> that much so yeah uh it's a cat uh <laughs> it's not my cat but the pose is uh taken reference from a picture of my cat so yeah um yeah and so it's surrounded by things that the cat likes so it's like these fish and mice or whatever like <laughs> I was uh, really famous throughout the school for doing this piece because um, for the art exhibition that we had at the end of the year they used this painting for the poster uh, so on every poster it was just like um, this piece it was really funny <laughs> and you know random people that I hadn't spoken to, random teachers would uh, compliment me on my on my painting and I was like wow thank you <laughs> it was so nice it was like the hecking best I really hope that other people also get that now because it was just so nice and if you're like studying art it's just really nice to have like people support you <laughs> and just be like you know impressed and give you compliments on things that you're really proud of because it just makes you feel happy 
Now we can look at some A-level sketchbooks. Wow. So for A-levels, I did an Art B Tech double award. So I did um, Fine Art, which is the B Tech, and I also did Graphics as an A-level. And I did English Lit for a year and I hated it, so I quit. <laughs> It was just too much for me to handle, so yeah, I did the, the fine art BTEC, which was like sculpture and um, painting and drawing and things like that, and then graphics, which is like computer product design kind of vibe, so I did those, those two like mainly. Me, in A-levels, I look terrible. Um, <laughs> I like this one, it's kind of cool. Hope you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. We did a lot of just like mono printing kind of stuff, which I which I liked as well. It's kind of cool. I haven't done mono printing since then actually, but yeah, it was really fun. It was really interesting to do. I really like the texture of this one. This is an extremely cursed ink portrait. Really cursed. Don't know how I feel about it. There you go. The classic like you know draw a very highly detailed sketch of some eyes or something that everyone seemed to do which, which is fine you know this looks, looks pretty cool i guess mind maps so many mind maps lol there's those cosplay wigs coming in handy there so yeah then this is the process of my final piece and that's it that was that was her um yeah wow so this is my photography book, um, did energy, power and dynamism, wow. So all my pictures, I guess I was doing like, I guess yeah, I was focusing on like light sources, electric light. We had a, um, a dark room, so I would, I would spend a lot of time in the dark room like developing photographs, like even on my own I'd just hang out there because it was nice and like away from everyone. So these are all like, um, developed photographs basically, so yeah, just like plopping some um, light bulbs onto some paper and exposing it and then seeing how that would turn out. A teacher really did help for me with these, like helped me a lot to make these really cool images that I still really like. They're really cool. <laughs> they're very nice. They're pretty sick. Like, look at those. They're so cool. And these are again in the dark room and I just get paper. Like, it's nice and glossy this one. And yeah, just brought in a bunch of beads and stuff to have and I just put it on the table and exposed it and yeah, developed it and it was pretty cool. Sorry, it's so dark in this corner. Um, this is a sculpture that I made. I want to say it's the first thing, I think. It's the first thing that we did in sculpture. I think it was like um, very early in like uh, year nine maybe or year eight, I don't know. But I made this like um, like uh, steampunk and Lolita mix up. <laughs> Wow, those are my like two favourite things, like two favourite fashion styles when I was growing up. Never really got into steampunk further than this, I think. <laughs> steampunk was a bit of a throwaway, but I still love Lolita, so there you go. And there's a bit of like dry brushing on there, so it's nice and shiny. Again, this one's super dusty, but it's kind of cute, I like it. It's a, uh, you know, we all had to make a head, like a bust. And uh, yeah, mine turned out pretty good, pretty extra, spent many hours molding this face <laughs> this is super old and super dusty as you can probably tell from this video it's a rabbit on an altar and there's these like melted candles all around him uh it's quite morbid oh, i made this i made this in um i want to say year 10 but it might have been it might have been year 11 this is my little mushroom ball. I'm so proud of this one. It was so stressful getting all these mushrooms finished. Hand painted each one. It's very dusty now because it's been here for like three years. I don't know what this is. Um, it's, it's some kind of plant thing. I think I based it off of an actual plant. It's just some plants in a rib cage, you know? That's it. In different stages of buds and budding. So it's like one, two, three canvas paper and then stuck onto a big board so yeah just stuff and I put stickers over the top so there's like loads of stickers 
yeah, a dinner. It's just a little childhood mishmash kind of jazz. This is another one. <laughs> I don't know why I needed two, but there you go. I don't really remember the context of how I made these, but anyway, so here's another one. And there's like, if you look, you can see pictures of me when I was a baby. Like, in dispersed and I try to color coordinate it so that you know it's like orange and then like green and then purple and pink and blue it's just a one, one big collage of like childhood stuff I really liked doing this for 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 a brief moment in my career <laughs> it's cute it's very like eclectic <laughs> I forgot to show this this is my this is my bear this is my first ever toy that I ever got um, first bear studies there you go um, so yeah and there he is this is a painting that I did of him the the final version is is downstairs and this cat this cat here that I want to print it is this one here if she is she's my she's one of my um, oldest toys and she's my my first ever like one of my first ever like favorite toys so yeah I thought I wanted to want to print her as well because I love her so much this is my last um, project that I ever did for A-Levels. Very emotional project, I guess. I found this very cool artist called Andy Kehoe and I really like his work and it's very cool. And it just really spoke to me on so many levels and I thought, this is incredible, this is really what I want to do. I'd love to create this kind of work. So yeah, this is me experimenting in like a Andy Kehoe style and all that. Other artists and me responding to those artists. I don't know what this is. This is just some strange Argos catalogue. I'll insert a picture here of the final piece. It's hanging up in my uh, corridor right now along with another self-portrait, along with the uh, other self-portrait that I showed earlier. Okay, the, the light is running out. We're running out of light, so I'm gonna quickly uh, finish up. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, it was a bit long. I probably cut most of it out, the boring parts. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at all of my trash art from my from my past. It was really fun to look at everything and there was a lot that I didn't get to show and I'm kind of sad about that. But if there's anything that I forgot to show, I'll just show it now in pictures. Um, so yeah, uh, my whole time doing art in GCSEs and doing art in uh, high school and doing art in A-levels and doing art in uni, all of that means so much to me and it's all like a really big journey that I've been on and like I've still got so much to learn and I've still got so far to go and I look at art that I make now and I think that's awful I hate it um, but some of it I look at it and I think wow I'm slowly getting there <laughs> thank you so much for watching that was really fun I hope you enjoyed looking at all my old art wow adult life starts here people gonna go work in Asda yeah <laughs> Goodbye, thank you so much for watching. Sorry that my voice is breaking. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.